I'm going to try to finish this video. I have uh, the delivery app on, so I don't know if I'm going to get a good delivery. If I do, then I'll have to create this video again. But I'm going to start off the video saying that Christians can still follow in line with the thinking of this world. You know, Paul said, do not be transformed. He said, do not be conformed any longer to the pattern of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. And so, you know, how many of us would read that scripture and just read it, put the Bible down because we read our quota, and then go on with our days, not paying heed to what it's actually saying. You know, we're not to follow the, the world's ways of doing things any longer. We're to follow God. And so all my videos, I, I more or less are trying to get fellow Christians to stop following the thinking that this world has, that the, this thinking that they're trying to put in your mind. And that thinking is totally the opposite of what God wants and his ways of doing things. And that's what the enemy's trying to do. He's trying to get you to not follow in line with what God wants. You know, because God has a destiny in the body of Christ for you to follow. You're to operate in a certain way in the body of Christ. But if the enemy can get you off of doing that by focusing on the world and the way the world, you know, lives, you know, finances, you know, success and stuff like that. All that is to deter you from what God wants you to do. And that's the enemy's ploy. If he can get you so wound up, so busy and all that, he's accomplished his task. So how many Christians are focused on the way the world does things? To live their lives trying to be financially successful and God's ways and what God wants each of us to do is virtually non-existent. And, you know, I, I recall years ago when I, you know, really surrendered my life to God, not just, you know, Lord Jesus, I ask you in, and then I'm going to ask you in and just continue to do what I've done before I gave my life to you. You know, there's many Christians that you know, say that they're Christians, but, you know, they sleep around or do this. Mm -hmm. But there's a lot of Christians out there that genuinely follow God, but they're still following the world's thinking in such a way that, you know, they don't know what God wants of them. And so that's what I'm trying to do in these videos is really help you see if whether or not you're following God truly or you're following the way the world does things. And so, you know, have you conformed to this world? Have you actually renewed your mind? And those things are what living sacrifices do. You know, living sacrifices, their purpose is to die. We die daily. Jesus said, if you don't pick up your cross and follow me, you're not worthy of me. He said, pick up our crosses and follow me. You know, what's the purpose of the cross? It, well, Jesus died on it. So we're to die daily. And I think it was Paul that said, I die daily. We have to do that. We have to die to what we want to do in this world and live for God. You know, so, you know, there is so much in the fact of, not conforming to this world, not conforming to the pattern of this world. You know, this world has a pattern that mammon wants you to follow. But we have not really asked God, you know, what pattern am I following? You know, how am I following the world, God? You know, sitting down and waiting on him. You know, that's what we have to do. Lord, you know, with a pen and paper, Lord... How am I following this world? And I'm sure God would speak to us, letting us know in what way we're following this world, what thinking we have that does not line up with 
who we are as children of God, you know? In 2008, when I surrendered to him, it wasn't like I had said at the beginning where I just asked him in my heart. You know, a lot of Christians, well, a lot of people do that and they still do what they do. You know, they, they, they have no intention whatsoever of living for God. They live for themselves. You know, they'll pick up the Bible, read a couple of verses, you know, completely oblivious to God's ways of doing things. If we have not read the Bible cover to cover, we're not going to know God's ways. You know, it just doesn't take reading it one time through. It takes many times because there's verses in there that we've never even looked at, you know, that we've never even, you know, contemplated. You know, how is it, you know, when many Christians, you know, they can read the Bible so many times in a verse pops up at them. That's, it's because, you know, they, they're growing in God. And so something new that they see And how is it, you know, Paul has said that we're to abstain from certain things. You all, if you're not reading the Bible cover to cover and reading it with the purpose of wanting to be more like Jesus, then, you know, we're going to be following the way the world does things and how the world acts. We're not to do that. You know, he said to abstain from certain sins. Well, if you're not reading what scripture says, then you're going to, you know, follow the way the world does things regarding that sin. You know, in you know, I'm preaching to the choir. There's a lot of Christians out there that already know that, but it's more than just you know, abstaining from certain sins, there is a life that a lot of Christians are unaware of. And they have even criticized, you know, you know, walking in a way that God wants us to, you know, walking in faith. A lot of Christians don't know what faith is. And so that was my purpose of these videos is to teach fellow Christians how to walk in faith you know, to live a life that they have yet to live, you know, and that's what I want to do in these videos. I want to help you learn not to conform to this world anymore, but to, you know, be transformed by the renewing of your mind. And that is what these videos are for, is to help to renew your mind, to help you out of that place that the world wants you to follow in, and to keep you from judging those that are walking by faith. How many people have you judged, you know, who are living for God, who are doing what God wants them to do? You know, I've been at that place where I was ridiculed and criticized for doing what Jesus wants me to do. And so there's a lot of Christians out there that still, you know, walk, you know, in that way and you know, have not taken a step out in faith in relying on Jesus. You know, that's a whole life that a lot of Christians have yet to live. So that's what I really am trying to convey in this video is not to be conformed any longer to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. So thank you for taking the time to listen.